Hey, it's getting hot you know outside. Right. I know y'all want it's that country talk. There go them country boys, yeah, it is. Might put some more horses in the motor. Look at the dance you on two wheels. I'm calling them pretty good money, bitch. Right on up to the water wheel. Magic go hunt with my nigga 30, y'all six, one shot kill. I ain't got time to chase no bald head, little bitch like little Bill. Maybe I done took one too many, baby. Right now, I just Please can't feel. I done made a whole lot of country dirty really ass money you. out the vacuum seal. I ain't never really been an overnight type guy. I'm a fuck them pill. You can tell she be in her cornbread. It jiggle different when it's real. Don't you ever try to live for me. Fuck around and pay your bitch like bitch on the winning team. Oh, bitch, you lean as long as you can keep them pretty lips sealed. Nah, for real. I love the city, but the country bunking. I love the city, but the country bunking. Keep on fucking with them country bunkers. They won't fuck around and bust your pumpkin. I love the city, but the country bunking. I love the city, but the country bunking. Keep on fucking with them country bunkers. They don't fuck around and bust your pumpkin. Welcome to Country Talk Podcast. I'm your boy Coda. It's your boy Doe School. And the biggest. Bigger than everything but God. Betty Rock. How y'all's week? How was it? It's weekend. Week. Week, weekend, week, Easter. How was it all? It was pretty good. Um, Easter, I went to my family house, had dinner, then went home, took a nap, and then went on about my day. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I had a three-day weekend, so that was good. I was off of work Friday, Saturday, Sunday. <coughs> I told y'all that last week, but just to reiterate, my three-day weekend was amazing. Um, I did some resting. No, I don't think. A little bit of turning up at the house, though. Mine was pretty straight. Um, my Easter went pretty good. Me and my cousins, we had a, a big a scavenger hunt oh. f- from Lundell to Kingstown. What was y'all looking for? Clues. Like, I don't know how they got it together, but we had one cousin. She just posted notes around. Lundell and Kingstown, and we had to find out where the notes was to lead us to the next note. Hmm. The lead us to the next note. That's interesting. And then when we got back to where we were supposed to go, we had to find Easter eggs in the yard, and each egg had a letter in it, and you had to figure out what the letter spelled out. We all put $5 into the pot, and we was able to split it down $15 a piece if you want. It was pretty straight, though. So y'all had to drive from place to place? Yeah, from Glendale to Kingstown, back to Glendale. It's gas money. Yeah, it was more than fifteen dollars <laughs> worth of gas money, I can tell you that much, but it was fun though. What about you though? What you do for Easter? Resurrection Day. <clears throat> Shit, man. I just do the same thing I do every day. You ain't eat no good old soul food? <coughs> <coughs> uh I don't really be celebrating holidays like that. Nigga, ain't nobody asked you, did you celebrate eats? I said, you eat some good old soul food. Nah. You didn't eat no, your family didn't cook? Yeah, they did. But you didn't eat? Nah, I didn't celebrate Easter. I ain't celebrate Easter Easter either, but I ate. I don't think that's considered celebrating Easter. Nah, I eat too. (laughs) You want to eat? I don't know what day it is. My cousin then put something on the grill. I damn so ate. And mama I already cooked her. I had yeah, I'm eating. We had potato salad, corn, greens, green beans, mac and cheese, um turkey, dressing, rice, gravy, ham, hog jaw, fat bag. Damn. <laughs> Sound like a lot of high cholesterol. <laughs> it's so food. Blood pressure. And it was good. I, I ate it would. for two days straight. <laughs> we ain't had it. We had hamburger, hot dogs, chicken. Sound shit high like cholesterol. That yeah, looked good, though. Exactly. So, not too much on me. Not too much on me. But I'm just saying. You though, you want to turn down that plate? <laughs> Man. <laughs> that sounds like you need to take a nap after easy. that one. I Boy, did. That shit was probably good as hell. I'm just, mm. I did take a nap and got up and ate another plate. <laughs> hey, fuck it. 
Let it marry. They'll say he gonna more. turn it down. Nah, nah, nah. The way I just be feeling is like partaking in the celebrations is celebrating it to me. Mm. Well, not for me, because I don't celebrate holidays. I don't celebrate Christmas, but whenever my family cook, I eat. But do anybody get a gift? No. <laughs> so I'm not celebrating. I'm coming to eat. Yeah, I feed up. I'm going to eat a free meal. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. I'm going to eat a free meal, too. I ain't going to cap to you. Well, so no made beats. <clears throat> Recorded. it. That's all they give me a steak, though. Yeah, you got yeah. your steak? Yeah, yeah. No, think about it. I did give me a steak. Yeah, on the grill. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the best one. A big ass motherfucker. You cooked it. Yeah. At the crib. You don't know how to grill, man. I I ain't got a grill. I got an air fryer. (laughs) 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 Yeah, yeah. I know that's right. No, you can't do dough like that. I cook no, in the air fryer. Nah, don't can grill. You, oh, know, you, you, have, you remember that day we sit yeah. up that studio? We was like, fuck it. We about to throw a cookout. Mm-hmm. Me and this nigga. That's why we had about like 16 burgers. We gonna got beans, hot dogs, chili. Like, mm-hmm. we having motherfuckers come over and it ain't nothing but just us hungry. But it was cheaper fuck. than going to the goddamn store because we ain't good. Man, nah, we both did. You let her think what she want to think, man. You know what I'm saying? Yo, the nigga didn't let him burn, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I yeah, got an air fryer. I'm good. Air fryer changed the game. And yeah, the microwave. Really God damn shit. It really did. Air fryer changed everything. Yeah, I ain't lying, boy. What's going on? Oh, you you, not you cook talking. a whole lot in the air fryer, boy. Yeah, any, almost anything. Pretty I'm much, a, I do. I kind of messed up some. Uh, well, I ain't gonna say I messed them up, but that was a little harder than I like them on the top. I put some cinnamon rolls in the air fryer because it's on the directions. I just wasn't experimenting, but the top got a little hard to well, fast. The thing about the air fryer, you still gotta watch it. You, you, you can't really go <laughs> by the buttons on the top. Yeah, that ain't I gonna know. be our preference. It over and everything. It ain't yeah. get too hard, but the harder than my liking for a cinnamon yeah, roll. Yeah, you gotta got there, keep watching that motherfucker. <laughs> I'm telling you, well, you can't forget f- about it. Yeah, can't wait for we the ding. You gotta be the ding. We just can't just hit the chicken button and don't watch it. God damn, that she shit. She be hard as hell. <laughs> damn, I can't even eat this shit. <laughs> it's gonna cook it, all right. Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing wrong with that. What's the weirdest thing y'all gonna cook in the air fryer that you was like, I'm just too lazy. I'm gonna put it in the air fryer and see what it do. Mm. Everything I cook in the air fryer is intentional. Mm. I ain't never just, have I just tried some shit? Mm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. What about you, since you asked? Nah, I ain't really never tried no shit. I only cook the shit that you're supposed to put in the air fryer. But, you know, mm-hmm. some people might try to. I seen TikToks. I, try, and I people make try the macaroni to in the air fryer. You make macaroni in the air fryer? Mm-hmm. What you put in the What kind of air fryer you got? You must got one of the big ass motherfuckers. It my is a big one, but um, I had like a little pan. Oh. And I set the pan in the air fryer, covered okay. it up with okay. um, tin foil. I can see that. I can see mm-hmm. that. And did it that way. Hey, same you, thing as an oven, though, ain't it? Same concept. Can you bake a cake in the air fryer? I'm sure that you can. My sister baked the cake on a grill one time. I never forget that shit. Well, I'm sure you can bake one in the air fryer. Shit, you said a grill cake? Right. <laughs> Man. Like, she put it on the grill. Like, I swear to God, I never forget that shit. It came out right. Yeah, but yeah. she just baked it on but the grill. She had it wrapped up in foil and shit? Well, hell, well, you can't wrap it up before before it's cooked, can you? No, hell no. I don't know exactly how she did it, but it was hot as hell in the house, and she wanted some cake grill out there. We gonna experiment with some shit. That shit yeah. came out though. Shit, that shit might be learn something new every day. Shit might be a dope you know right want, there. You know when people want something that. to eat, they gonna figure out a way to get it. Especially yeah. if you want something sweet, too hot in the yeah. house to cook. You'll be surprised if you can put on that grill. Best burger is always a grill burger. I, I feel I feel like that too. This shit is what yeah. grill food overall is tastes <laughs> different. Like I like grilled pork chops, get that little char mm-hmm. burnt piece on there. Hot mm. dogs gotta be black. Black. I like my hot dogs. I'm dog saying black. it can still have a little pink on it, but I want most of the black. Get that. 
It was a fly. Oh. Uh-huh. Scared of a fly? <laughs> no, you yeah. ain't got my glasses on. Oh, like yeah, you got blind as back. I just seen something crawling. <laughs> but yeah, anything grilled. The one was I doing mean, hit every time. Yeah, I'm ready for the fish at the cookouts too. I'm ready for the cookouts. Fish too. We fit. was having cookouts yeah. in the winter. I'm saying, <laughs> so is so, but I rather got dang You know, summertime we sit out there play summer, spades. Because we playing some spades Sunday. I miss that shit sitting outside, you know, just playing spades, watching the kids run around and shit. Mm-hmm. Can't do like that in the wintertime. They be in the house all on top of you and shit. True, 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 true. But the still good, though. True, true. Some other winter. <clears throat> so would y'all rather live in a luxury home paid for? Or would you rather stay for free in a different place every night anywhere in the world? Mm, I think I'll take that luxury home. I, I think I'll take that home on. I ain't got to move around like that. I know I ain't going to move around like that. So just give me that nice little crib. Mm-hmm. Hopefully we got a little bit of land on there and we scrape. Mm-hmm. Shit. Who picking the houses that you living in? You. Oh, shit. But you have to stay in a different place every night. <clears throat> shit. That's Wait. free. Anywhere you want to. Or you can have this nice luxurious house for free. And so I can go on all the vacations I want to for free? Nah, just the, the living space is free. Everything gets you got to well, pay Well, let's say all-inclusive. Fuck it. All-inclusive travel and, and staying. Shit. Shit, traveling and saying shit. Every night. Shit. So, we say we're in a hotel. If I change the rooms, do that count as? No, as... you have to stay in a different place every night. Damn. I don't know. Can't stay in the same hotel. You can run out of them. Eventually, in the same city, you gotta I mean, go somewhere. It don't have to be a hotel. It could be an Airbnb, Airbnb could motel, be... Holiday Inn. I don't know. That's a. Um, yeah, I might have to. Have to take that luxury paid for crib, cause. Hey, you could be a roommate with somebody one night. But change it every night though. That's gonna be a lot though. Yeah, you ain't never gonna be able to accumulate shit. I'm saying, though, you can, though, but still, that's going to be a lot. I'm saying, you got to move it with you all the time. You ain't going to want to keep shit. You just close your shoes and a couple of them, because, hell, you got to move so much. Huh? Think about just packing up a damn house. Now, think about that every time you move. Hell no, you ain't going to want to do that. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but so you rich and all. I mean... She I just said she just said the I living situation. Doing going too deep into it. Like Okay. Just, I put parameters on it. Know your ass ain't rich. Your living situation is free. Everything else you gotta pay for. When it comes to traveling, getting there, back and forth. You gotta pay for it, but you're gonna have somewhere to sh- or lay your head there every night. That defeats the purpose. Because if me if it's not like You can get a luxurious house. If it's not for free. My transportation being paid for, then. Man. I mean, what you, if I want to go from Georgia to fucking Cali? Hell, we all want to do some shit, but can we do it? Hell. <laughs> shit, but you got to get the money to do I would want the home simply <clears throat> because yeah. I want to be stable. I want to have a place that I call my own. Like, I travel when I can. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll feel you on that. Because to stay in a different place every night for me would... Do you really think you would be able to get comfortable? Mm, probably not. So it's pretty much have your luxurious home, your luxurious, your luxury home, or travel for free mm. every night. Oh, or travel like for you, free. You got to stay somewhere every, different every night. That's the gag. Yeah, Can you half and half? I'm still going to have my house on. Like, Every night. There's too much. Nah, movement. like, month after month. If I can do one <laughs> this month, then the other one next month, 
Yeah, because if you think about it, that's just too much movement. That every, is free. Every night I gotta you get to move. Go on. wherever you wanna go. Shit, Plant you gonna, movement though. You gonna be Shit. tired every day. I gotta think about where the hell I'm gonna lay, lay my head. Even though I know I ain't gotta worry about paying for it, but shit, I still gotta find somewhere to lay my head every night. Nah. Shit, we got people that do that now for free. Yeah, and I ain't wanna do that. Yeah. I, I'm gonna tell you right now. I like being able to know where the hell I'm gonna sleep at every night. Don't have to think about this shit. But shh. And hell, if I don't want to leave, guess what? I ain't got to go nowhere. I can stay here all goddamn day. I ain't got to leave this mug. Yeah. If I had a billion dollars, I probably would do that. Move every night. Just to see. Fuck see it. The world. Hey. A billion dollars, though? Hey. What if you had... Definitely going to need about a hundred thousand. Nah, that ain't enough. Your transportation and living is free. But that ain't enough for you me to be a, a minimalist and not spend that much money every day. See, that's the point of me going to be traveling and stuff. I'm going to be doing shit. I just ain't going to be going and going to sleep. That's why I need that billion. Shit. You can find free things to do. <clears throat> I mean, if I got that billion, though, I ain't got to find free things. I can goddamn do whatever. It's going to feel like it's free anyway. Yeah. But yeah, it's just gonna have to be about a big. But if I ain't got that much now, nah, give me the crib that's paid for already. And I'm gonna rent that sun gun out. Hmm. Hmm. Shit wrong with that. Do y'all <laughs> share y'all's location when y'all go places? My location is shared all the time with my daughter and I think my best friend and my cousin. But them niggas don't never check my location, but <clears throat> cause that was called me and asked me where I'm at. Like, just check your phone. Nah, it ain't, ain't nothing like hearing your voice. Now, if you don't answer the phone and I text you and you don't respond in a reasonable amount of time, then that's when they check your location. Mm. So, yeah, perfect. I share my location. I had forgot I had shared it with they ass for a while, but it didn't matter because... I ain't doing shit. Mm-mm. What about you, though? You sharing your location? I ain't gonna lie to you. Nah. <clears throat> no. Matter of fact, first time I ever shared the location was when that nigga shared the location to me that they all was going to meet. I was like, bro, I don't know how to do this, bro. What I, <laughs> <laughs> what I supposed to do, bro? Nah, nah, I can't share the location. Mm-mm. Nah, 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 you can't do that. Nah, I ain't never shared my location, but motherfuckers know where I'm at, so I ain't really got to worry about it. Mm-hmm. Say you going to see a girl for the first time, you ain't going to show your location? Yeah, my homeboys know, I'm telling them, hey, bro, I'm going to such and such, you feel what I'm saying? Look, if I don't call you and such and such to send you a text message, nigga, you know something up. That's... Mm-hmm. That's just that, hell. Yeah. You gotta let somebody know where the hell you at. Y'all ain't never been like that? I don't, I don't know, but the like, area? I'm you guessing. Share your location to your phone so they, somebody will know how to get to you. Nah, buddy. Nah, I ain't sharing Because people going to do the opposite of doing that. What you mean they're going to do the opposite? Because now they know where you at. Nah, I can't do that. I'm saying I ain't worried about so my homeboys gonna... doing shit. <laughs> hell, I'm telling nigga, look, bro, I'm in such such, man. If I don't eat you at such and such or call you, motherfucker, something up. So you definitely me. ain't sharing your location in a, in a relationship. Oh no, you just gotta trust me. I mean, you gotta trust me enough <laughs> to believe where I'm at, cause mm. man, no. I tell you where I'm in a relationship. I would share my location. I don't think my phone share location. <laughs> Uh-uh. <laughs> I got Android. I don't think we yeah, can I'm share a, location. I'm a, I'm a, I got Android. I ain't got an iPhone, so I, I, find them. Got them. Use them out <laughs> in a hey. compass. Find me. I don't think I got that. Okay. How do y'all feel about people sharing their location at your house? Like somebody pull up to your house and they sharing their location with other people. How y'all feel about that? That's why I don't invite nobody to my house, because, no. And it's not even that, you know, I'll be doing anything. I just don't care for people. 
I mean, I guess it depends on who it is. But if it's somebody, you know, I don't know. I don't invite people to my house. <laughs> I got to know who it is if you're going to be doing that. So say a, a chick and sometimes you don't even know motherfuckers. You say a chick. Yeah, say so oh, she pull no. up on you and she sharing her location with somebody. Um, I'm saying I really ain't got no problem with it because hell, I don't plan on kidnapping your ass and hell, that's why you gonna feel safe. Everything ain't got no problem. But if you sharing it with a nigga or some shit, I'm gonna be skeptical. Like what the fuck going on here? But if you sharing it with your homegirl, your mama, or somebody like that, I ain't got no problem with it. Cause you know how females they set your ass up. What you share my location with these niggas for? Like what the hell y'all got going on? But hell, nine times out of ten, you ain't gonna know somebody sharing their location. That girl could be the nigga girl that you don't want the location to get to. See, that's why I don't do that. Hell nah. Cause hell nah, boy. But I'm saying you don't know if a person location on and they sharing it right now, do you? Mm mm. I know if my mother pull up though. Yeah, you always have to know somebody <laughs> pull up. I know, goddamn. I know who is that, goddamn. Definitely. Mm. How do y'all feel about ring cameras? I love them. I love cameras. I love seeing who coming before they get here. Yeah, I ain't got no problem with me being on your camera. I ain't come here to do <laughs> shit. I might give you a little dance on that motherfucker. What's going on? Put me on the internet. I know some criminals are upset about those because you never know who got one. Man, I aggravate my cousin with his because he got it on his phone. Again, I know most of the time he watching something on his phone and still knocking on the door. I go do the ring camera just to distract his ass. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm aggravating. So I like them shit, so I'm not going to lie. Yeah, yeah. Then you can talk back and forth to the person when you ain't there. What's not to like about that? Only a thief wouldn't like it. I'm telling you. Man. Yeah, nowadays you gotta have a camera on your shit. You don't know what's going on. I agree. I just know some criminals is upset about it, especially people to be breaking in people's stuff. Yeah, I bet you they is mad because now you catching me. Every time. Even if that person ain't got a ring camera. The neighbor got one. Or somebody down the street done caught you driving by. <laughs> driving by. Mm hmm. That's funny to me. Yeah, let's catch this whole neighborhood, god dang mm -hmm. gone. Hey, if See, everybody has any cameras. Yeah, if everybody in the neighborhood put their cameras in the right spot, it ain't going to be a blind spot in this neighborhood that you can do some mm -hmm. shit in. Oh, yeah. so, now, that's some real neighborhood watch shit right there. So, y'all criminals out there, just know somebody always watching. Mm-hmm. You're always being recorded. I don't care where you go. It ain't nowhere yeah. now without cameras, basically. Everywhere mm -hmm. got a camera. Right. What happened to the smart criminal? You used to use the gloves and the mask. Motherfuckers don't do none of that. They film they self doing the goddamn crime today. That part. The fuck? How the hell you gonna film yourself and then get mad that you got caught? <laughs> you supposed to get caught. Hey, with the way they're making the prison so comfortable, it's like you ain't even locked up no more, though. Shit. I can't leave when I want to. I know I'm locked up. <laughs> <laughs> shit. But shit. Yeah, I think about a motherfucker that's got a phone. He got damn again. The business. He fucking got damn inmate. I mean, the motherfucking <laughs> COs and shit. <laughs> the inmates. You had it right. Well, <laughs> you got some niggas out there. We is fucking the inmates. I'm just talking about the motherfuckers fucking the COs, though. Shit. The motherfuckers. In that little hole they in. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Well, That's it, why I can't go to jail. Even though I don't go nowhere, I do not want to be stuck in PCS jail. It just seems like it's dirty. You know, people just, ugh, all kind of drug people uh, being in there and killers and blood and people shitting on the wall. You ain't yeah. trying to be in that environment. Yeah, I could just damn. imagine that it's just disgusting. Shitting on the wall? I don't know. Hell, they got a shit in the cell. You got a shit where you sleep. Like, no. And then, you know, the inmates or the cleanup crew ain't really cleaning like that. Like, you know how many people was in and out? Nah, but the inmates definitely gonna clean that shit. Mm. I don't think it's enough of cleaning that can clean it enough to make me comfortable. Yeah. Uh.
Hey, yo ass get in there, you gonna get comfortable. I ain't gonna and get in there. Was that shit definitely not the move though? Yeah, I, I've never been, ain't trying to go. That's right, I ain't trying to go. Hell nah, jail is not cool, kids. No. Mm, stay away. It just sound bad. And Somebody yeah. telling me what to do all goddamn day. You know, they tell you when to wake up, tell you when you can eat. Tell I mean, you, you can't even sleep. leave. Yeah, and that, that <laughs> that's, part. that's what gets me, nigga. I can't go nowhere. I can't even walk outside this door, like to the hallway. Just being confined to places scares me. Yeah. yeah. I'm I don't even like to be in my room too long. I'm going to go sit on the couch for a little bit. Yeah, I got to be in some open space, guys. I ain't going to see some outside. Being in buildings without windows too long. Where a door at right quick? I ain't even got to leave the house. Just let me step on the balcony, nigga. I can't go outside when I want to get some fresh air. Man. I would go crazy. <laughs> no I care. would go crazy. Like, I'd be in there fighting CEOs too. I understand why these motherfuckers is fighting the CEOs. Like, get out of my face. Don't even want you talking to me. Because you get to go home. In 12 hours. <laughs> hey. You want to sit here and fuck with me? Why? Shit crazy, man. Kids, stay out of trouble. Please stay out of trouble. It's not where it's at. It's easy to get into. It costs a lot to get out of. Man, you, even if you got the money, you probably can't get out of it because it's just fucked up. Yeah. No. Or you're going to wait a long time before you get out of it because you're going to sit. It's definitely some bullshit. Definitely some bullshit. They take their precious time. That is crazy. Like, uh, and free everybody. I know this in there too. Yeah, free young free man. The, free him. <clears throat> free my brother, man. Ob, his crazy ass. Dang. If he is out here, save some money. You got to be saving that shit because you're gonna need it. You gonna need it one day, buddy. Mm, hell yeah, you gonna need that shit. Mm-hmm. Money work the world go around. What is the oldest and the youngest age you'll entertain while dating or, you know, kicking said, it with somebody? You said the oldest. And the youngest. Mm. So, so from what age to what age? Maybe 25, maybe the youngest, the oldest. I'd say about 65, 75. <laughs> no, I'm fucking with you. Probably about 40, 45 at the most. <laughs> yeah, about 25 there. to 45? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. I say twenty one and up. Hey, don't shame me. Your ass grown. Twenty one and up. Goddamn. <laughs> damn, damn twenty one and up. It can go down. Be Beauty don't have an age on it, but it gotta be twenty one and up for me to like it. Yeah, straight up. Cause I ain't gonna lie, but with the way these twenty-two year olds are built today, now back when like we was that age, everybody would have been, you know what I'm saying? They looked like little girls back then, you know what I'm saying? Now, she <laughs> twenty-one and up, well, twenty-one and up, hey. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> How about you, baby? What you going? I'm going 31 as my youngest to probably about 55. Yeah. 31 to 55? Mm -hmm. Might as well go ahead and bump it up to 60. You, you close enough, <laughs> shit. Damn. But it has to be like a, a 55 that's 
youthful. Yeah, I know you ain't want. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. They you know, don't look 55. Yeah. We know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't go to 55, you might as well go to 60. That's all I'm saying. No, well, I might as well not. Why not? 60 is, you know, over my limit. Social Security. 56 is over my limit. Retirement, Social Security. You know Look at saying. Angela Bassett. Look at her. Yeah. Yeah, I'm up my age. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to go back to that 65, 70. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 65, 70, because yeah, Angela Bassett. Oh, my God. Um, what's the other one name? Uh, Gladys Knight. <laughs> you hit Gladys Knight, would you, Coach? Huh? She's about eighty-three. That is somebody's grandma. That's somebody's great, that's the, great, great that, grandma. That's somebody. That's a church mother. I'm. I, I can't, no, I would not do that. That's a church mom. That's somebody's grandma. No, I but not Gladys. But the one made the pies. Uh, the one that Patty made the Patty like 78. No, I'm not hitting Patty LaBelle. I bet you right now. No. There's a young whippersnapper. Yeah, somebody somewhere <laughs> right now that would, but it ain't they tell me. Tell her on how to sell them pies. <laughs> so you hitting Patty? Patty LaBelle? <laughs> this is crazy. Man, listen, man. He said 21 and up. <laughs> he did. He it's say, Patty, he though. No I counter. mean, like, man, it's Patty, though. Patty Cake, Patty Cake. How many people you think going to get this chance like this again? <laughs> How many people want that chance? <laughs> the fuck? You'd be surprised. Let's take a vote. <laughs> you smashing Patty? No, I respect you. I would not. I would not do you that. You smashing Patty? I smash Patty. <laughs> <laughs> they tripping. You smashing oh, Patty? Y'all about the same age though. <laughs> 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 you know, you smashing Patty? I Still torn and everything. You know what I'm saying? She active. <laughs> she active out here making them pies. <laughs> she. That's she some grandma shit. Making pies. Patty. So who would want. Sweet potato pies. Listen. I, I would want a woman to cook for me you every day. You your Patty? Nah. Oh, I couldn't do Patty like that. That's, that's, it's, like she might still be fucking though. I'm telling that's you now. Two on two, y'all in the comments break the tie. Are y'all smash? Are y'all men smashing Patty Labelle? Like the Patty Labelle. <laughs> Patty pies. Now and she can saying, cook like hell too. She's she still pretty to be but an she's elder. But she's elder. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I couldn't do her like yeah, that. I'm trying to give her some back shots. 79? She could be 80 in May. Yeah, I can't do her like that. And you talking about you smashing Patty. I'm this ain't about her age. This is about Patty. Boy, I probably gonna <laughs> bent her the wrong way and everything. You gonna fuck her up for real. Man, listen. Wow. Mm. Excuse my language, Patty, but yeah. 80. This ain't about her being 80. It is to me. That's the only thing I could think of. That's the queen. I can't do her like that. Joe said he giving Patty the business. <laughs> He's gonna be laying down some Patty pies on her right now. Mm. Crazy. Hey, but ain't nothing wrong with it. Whatever floats your boat. If you find like a lost remote. Hey, if you like it, I love it. God dang on. I ain't got nothing to do with it. Shit. Ain't that wrong with Patty? I'm judging the hell out your ass, though. I'm sorry. I ain't judging you. I'm judging. I ain't he judging. wrong for that. Like, he's wrong for saying Patty LaBelle. How do you think an 18-year-old look at you right now? The same way we old. look at Patty. She, she might be old, but I still give her the business. My point exactly. Yeah, you but I think. ain't that fucking old. Shit, when we was 18, damn, you was old. <laughs> I'm only 36. Yeah, that's what that's I'm saying to an 18 to year old. Patty me is like 40 years older than you. Shit, you can be considered a cougar for some people. 
Back then, we couldn't even go on the road with people that age. Five years. <laughs> 45 years older than him. Double your age and 10 years. Man, back um, then, yeah. you couldn't be in there with, man, that's grown folk conversation, 36. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Kids had to leave the room with that age. Right? <laughs> <laughs> people out there hit Patty. Hey, we ain't saying it ain't. We ain't saying it ain't. He just saying he ain't. And you saying you is and Serge is too. Well, Serge, she only like 10, 15 years old. Look at my boy Hugh. He went out. Went, who? Hugh. Hugh who? Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> what he do? Had a house full of them. Playboy. <laughs> you know what oh, I'm saying? Okay. I mean, but they wasn't 80 though. I mean, he was. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that was about, you know, 21 and up. <laughs> I didn't give a fuck. <laughs> they mind gotta be at least about twenty eight though. You looking for a twenty one year old mind to be twenty eight? I mean, that's very that's rare. Exactly twenty eight year olds minds be twenty one. As far as taking them serious, hell yeah, yeah. But you just gonna smash the twenty twenty one and twenty one and twenty eight? I mean. Yeah, that nigga, he was 91 still out right there, you know? His Bluetooth subscription is out of this world. At this point, he probably was just eating Gucci. All right, and them blue pills, too. I bet you that nigga was still... Ain't no way. He's... Ain't no way. What you ain't mean, ain't, ain't no way? He might have took him in, still... but he probably got up there. Ain't... ain't no way. That thing probably was flimsy and... <laughs> that nigga weak. got all that money. You crazy, yeah, nigga. They been had something for him, nigga. They got pills for that shit. We got something for <laughs> that. After a certain age, I'm sure <laughs> it just don't. <laughs> <laughs> we got something for that. Yeah. <laughs> the we can fix that. <laughs> We got, we, That's we, you. We what you mean? <laughs> <coughs> that was his whole life. You ain't gonna tell him he can't go out there and go. Hey. He probably had a testosterone diet, nigga. They make him testosterone shakes. <laughs> <laughs> Chicken got testosterone in it. Take these pills. He ready. Nigga was strong. <laughs> 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 Probably just laid back. Hey, what's the hardest addiction to break? What's your hardest addiction to break? My hardest addiction to break is probably cussing. Cursing? Because I'm a cuss. You a good cusser? Can cuss you out from here to there? Been a, been a cusser your whole life. Since I started talking. So it started at a young age. Who talked to your first cuss word? Yeah, TV. See, the devil. Cussing is probably the hardest thing for me to stop doing. And just, I wish I could. I'd be controlling it, but I just can't stop. And even in my professional setting, sometimes I'd be like. Fuck this shit. <laughs> Blow like, oh, my fault. I ain't mean to say that. It just comes so fluent. What about you, though? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. So they just can't stop doing. Mm -hmm. Your hardest addiction to break. Something that you're, something that you you want to stop. Like you, you like, man, I'm I'm gonna try to stop doing this, but it's just hard for you to stop because you just keep doing it. I don't know. Uh, because, I, because I don't really got no addiction like that. Nothing that I know I need to stop doing anyway. I don't know. <laughs> well, mine is cigarettes. Every time I oh, try well. to stop, I start back. <laughs> How long do you stop for? Stop for about two weeks one time. That's the that's the Started time back. frame. If you can yeah. make it two weeks, then you can just keep going. It was the motherfuckers around me, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's when I had a job too, and that shit just 
is he smoked a cigarette cuts these motherfuckers out. And you know, cigarettes are way better than expressing yourself at a job. Calm you down. Yeah. Because to calm yourself down with words is mean walk yourself out that door once you start speaking. You already know. When you pissed off, pissed mm-hmm. off. Ain't really no filter. You know, sometimes you just have to sit back and know that. Smoke I, your cigarette. Yeah, I can't say nothing to nobody <laughs> right now. <laughs> you just sit back and smoke your cigarette. God damn. I feel that. Yeah, because that smoke go out, the words going out. I ain't mm-hmm. got to say it to nobody. Inhale it. It's all your thoughts. Exhale. Mm. The words coming out. Mm-hmm. But you do want to stop one day? Yeah. Shit, man. That hell, I, I can tell. I was take trash can to the hill the other day. Woo! Mm-hmm. Out of breath. Yeah, nigga. Woo! I need to stop this shit. I, don't, I know it's a little walk, but still. That's a little bit more. Mm-hmm. I was winded when I got up there. Let's say that. Mm. Need, need to start walking the track again. Start running around. When's the last <clears> time you ran? Mm. Like, just for no just ran. Hell, I run around with my daughter, but that's probably about four, five steps. I'm like, ah, yeah, you got that. You <laughs> feel me? Ah, you got that. I ain't, it's been a minute since I ran. I ain't I, had shit to run from or run to. I ran the other day. Yeah. I raced somebody. Yeah, I ain't did it. I lost. Every time I be wanting to race somebody, y'all feel like me. Like, nah, <laughs> we ain't going to do that. I lost. I hyped them up, too. I was like, man, I'll beat your ass. You can't outrun me. Was it a big margin? They beat, you, they beat you by a lot. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I had to hold them. Mm. So I could take I And I got a hit. I cheated and still lost. <laughs> Let you know where you stand now. Yeah. <laughs> if it's a dog getting I chased. I cheated twice. So, there and back. So if we getting chased by a dog, you probably going to be the one to get bit. <laughs> I don't know, because, you know, I got something to run from. <laughs> the oh, adrenaline girl. start pumping. Okay. Nigga, I might fuck around and run a full flat. <laughs> Shit. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, Wait. when you're scared. Hell scared yeah. nigga, dead nigga, and I ain't trying to die. Yeah, you right about that. So, I'm, I'm out. Yeah, that adrenaline need about <laughs> 10 more horsepower. You out of here. Vroom. Running like uh, Shakira Richardson. I'm telling you, boy, you think I'm a track star. Look she's that. a runner, she's a track star. <laughs> she gonna run away when it gets hard. Yeah. You know what? I need to go jogging. That's what I need to do. Yeah. But I once when I ran that day, I was like, ooh. You felt it. Yeah. Sit down. I ain't think about running no. up again. Matter of fact, I can't. When we went to play laser tag, that's the last time I ran. Yeah. You ran? Yeah, we was playing like that. You don't post running now, but uh I'm supposed to walk fast. Sweet. Yeah, let, let's say that I was doing a lot of fast walking. Okay, for a long period of time. But that 12 minutes felt like about 15. It's only 12 feet. minutes? Yeah, but shit, it felt like a long time when we was down playing that shit. I ain't even going to lie. Hmm. How I much was, was it? It was $8. What is that? Because I'm going to go. At the BE. We, can, we, should, oh. we should all go. Yeah, we should. We should do a country talk um, laser <laughs> tag night. Because I ain't going to lie. I was tired of shit when I came out of <gasps> I'm going to shoot all y'all niggas. I think I tear y'all ass up. I think I'm a good shot. I'm telling you, hey. I was in there busting ass in that thing. That's fine. You down to go? Hey, yeah, let's go. Because you know they got the bowling in there, too. Mm-hmm. Hey, they yeah. lane small, though. I ain't even going to lie. From a regular bowling alley, which I know mm-hmm. they ain't just a bowling alley, but they lanes are smaller. Weird. Y'all was rolling gutter balls. I rolled three of them motherfuckers. I ain't even gonna lie. Gutter. You just did rolling gutter balls in this. Uh, but that's what <clears> I <throat> be playing got dang on bowling since probably I was in high school. Mm. I'm a wee champion. You feel what I'm saying? Wee? A wee champion in bowling. You feel So me? not a real bowler. It's the same concept, kind of. I feel not like Not really. <laughs> yeah, because they just. <laughs> not really. Yeah, because they feel a little all the I say a concept. I mean. Until you get the swing of your arm, that's about it. Because you need that weight. Because it was about to the end when I found the right ball for myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We might need to go bowling, too. That sounds fun. It is. Why are you worth knowing? Why am I worth knowing? Mm -hmm. Everybody need to know somebody that can fix this shit for them. And I'm that guy. So. What do you need? Spark plugs, oil change? Need something built? I got you. You can always lend a helping hand. Yes. 
tail light out. Come holler at me. I got you. Lock your keys in the car. I can get them out for you. Did that today. <laughs> what did you up. use? I got the um the little the key. equipment. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what's up. Yeah, I'm investing in this shit. I got you. I ain't gonna tell okay. you shit up. What about you, Dusko? Man, I'm gonna just say shit. Come kick it with me for a day, and you decide if you want to know me or not. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Look, so you ain't want to tell us why? Yeah, I'm about to ask. What was the question again? <laughs> <coughs> Why are you worth knowing? Yeah, that's what I thought it was. But different people got different reasons um, why they know you. Though. But we want to know your opinion on why you're worth knowing. What's your worth of somebody knowing you? You just have to come kick it with me for a day. But we asking you. <laughs> if you want to decline the question? No, nah, I mean, like, me telling you something is not going to really show you. What you need to know, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Well, I feel like I'm worth knowing because you're going to meet somebody that's genuine, caring, you know, that's it. Just genuine and caring. Just uh, I'm really listening. And if I ain't, I'm going to tell you. But, you know, if it's some real shit, I'm going to listen. I'm going to give you some honest feedback and a hug. You know, I'm not going to be biased. If you're wrong, I'm going to tell you you're wrong. Mm-hmm. I feel like, you know, you're going to meet a real genuine person. Mm-hmm. And who don't want to know somebody like that? Everybody want to know somebody that's genuine. Yeah, and Lily, so you can call me. Mm-hmm. If I don't answer, I'll text you. If you need to talk, I'll give you a call. We want to take this time to shout out the Critical Inker, keeping us fresh every week with merchandise. Mm-hmm. If you need merch, hit them up, or you can hit us up in our DMs. T-shirts going for 20. We about to have summer wear hit soon. Keep a lookout for that. Because mm-hmm. it's getting hot outside. Hey, it's getting hot outside. And I know y'all want that country outside. talk. Hey, it's getting hot outside it's getting hot outside sing it with me though it's getting hot outside it's getting hot outside there's all them girl with the booty shorts hey them girl with them booty shorts hey there go them girl with them booty shorts hey them girl, girl with them booty shorts there go them girl with them booty shorts it's hot outside hey hey it's hot outside it's hot outside Got yeah, outside. yeah, we're gonna drop that. <laughs> we're, we're gonna clean it up. We're gonna drop that. They're gonna be the they're gonna be the summer jump. Hey, when was y'all's first heartbreak? My first heartbreak was in middle school. Got my heart broke. I was in love. Oh, that puppy love, it always hurt the worst, don't it? Yeah. They say it's just puppy love. <laughs> <laughs> what, what you do to him to make him? Them? What I do to him to make him break my heart? I ain't do nothing. How he break your heart? What What he do? Guess I got cheated on. Mm. Mm-mm-mm. But in my defense, I wasn't having sex in middle school, and some girls were. Mm-hmm. So, you know, they going to flock. Yeah. And he going to cock. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's just where it stopped with me because I wasn't about that life. Yeah, you know, that's I just like, yeah. you know. But I really loved him. He really loved me, too. I guess not enough. (laughs) (laughs) Right, right. 
It's not. It's not. You thought that was going to be one of them, them Disney movie Jones. Y'all grow up and go to college together. He died. Oh, I'm sorry. School, I apologize. So. I'm sorry. Yeah. R.I.P. R.I.P. I just make it awkward there for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you the one. Talk about grow up and go to college. Nope. Yeah, I just fucked it up. What about you, though? Uh, I don't know. Who broke your heart, first person? Or what? How old was you? How old was it? Yeah, that's the question. Ain't it? Yeah. When did you experience your first heartbreak? You know, you done experienced one where you like the girl. And, oh. oh, shit, what's wrong? The flies on it. Uh, hey. uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to think about that one, man. Everybody the first remember one? their first one. I don't know. She started liking your homeboy. Quit talking to you in fifth grade. And it just made you say, "Damn, fuck these hoes, all of them." <laughs> yeah, when was your when was when was your villain origin? When 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 was the first first female made you man? Fuck these hoes, <laughs> I'm out you. How did your villain arc start? She, <laughs> she, my damn baby mama. The one you didn't know the name, huh? The one you didn't know the name? <clears throat> or another one? I mean, I'm going to just say my baby mama. The start of his villain art. Hell yeah. What about and you? really paying attention and shit, you know, to my girl cousins and conversations when we got be at them family functions and I'm really listening. <sighs> well, it's a cold world out here, boy. That's all I'm going to say with these girls. <clears throat> these guys, too. I feel you. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Tyler? Who broke your heart? How old were you? Uh, I think I was probably about... Mm, I think about 15... Maybe 15, 16, high school. Mm-hmm. Chick I was fucking with. She broke your heart. Like a motherfucker. But she cheated on you? Mm, nah, she ain't cheat on me. She just broke up with me. Oh. Yeah, the, fuck the nigga up. Damn. She ain't getting no reason in that. Just. Nah, she ain't really giving me no reason. That's the thing to fuck Damn. with me. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> Dirty bitch. Yeah, you could have told me I went shit or something. You know? like, you, like, you had to find something out that I didn't know about. You could at least tell me, because now you got a nigga just wondering what the fuck going on. You feel mm-hmm. me? I'd rather you not call me shit and goddamn cuss me out than just not That's tell me sad. shit. That's sad. I'm sorry <laughs> that happened to you. Damn. That's fucked up. That. Not to the best, though. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, speaking of school, so who was your favorite teacher in school? Shit, now that I'm thinking about it, I I say my first grade teacher, Miss Mintz. She had to be my favorite teacher because she used to um I used to stay after school and help her with work and stuff, and she used to like take me to Wendy's, and she is the teacher that gave me my first paddling, my only paddling I ever got in school. Um. But yeah, she was my favorite teacher. What year did you go to school? They wasn't doing no nice today. Yeah, that, that let us know your age. <laughs> you got powder in school, shit. They ain't, they ain't put their hands on me in school. And then you want to talk about Patty? Y'all yeah. sure y'all went to college together? <laughs> God damn. 
Y'all didn't get paddled in, in school? No, that shit was illegal at my school. I'm in saying. elementary? Yeah, you can't just be beating on what kids. What did you go to elementary school? We didn't get paddled in that shit. I went in like 94, 95, 96. Shit, I was in there too, and I wasn't getting hit on. Yeah, nah. I had got three check marks that day, and yeah. you know, people used to Damn, get Damn, you was bad as hell to get three in one day. <laughs> shit, that, that's why you got your ass whooped. You just told us why you got your ass whooped. But... People used to get pedals like every Friday and they couldn't go outside and they used to line us up on this um oh, hell You gonna nah. line me up on the counter and tell me bend over to beat and on me? Hell no. And they had a paddle. You gotta catch me to hit me. And they would hit you how many check marks you had. You oh no. Just, you think I'm gonna sit here and wait on you to call my name to get hit? Yeah, Fuck no. No. Mm-hmm. Bro, hell no! I'm not about to sit here and I wait on you to hit me. School. That's how old I am. Bruh, That's funny. I wasn't bad. I ain't get ass whoopings, but nah, you wasn't just gonna come here. No, I know you about it to wasn't hit me. Just come here. It was a line up right here. Yeah, and I know this line is about to be me getting hit in. I'm not doing that. Yeah. I ain't get that. I ain't get this. And then all the other kids got to go to recess, so they went outside, and the other what? Probably about. 10 to 12 of us. So I get my ass whooped and then I got to sit in here and do I work. I mean, it ain't like they just wear your ass out. They no, just I know. paddle you. And... I know they hitting you three times. Still, you ain't my mama. <laughs> exactly. So <laughs> I'd rather just take that one at home ass whooping and get yours too. But my, I mean, I can't recall it hurting though. Like, it wasn't like. It looked better not hurt. Yeah, old black lady. I boots. she Yeah, we wouldn't get hit. Yeah, I ain't first get that. I ain't get one grade. after first grade, but first grade, yeah, I did get a pal in first grade by my favorite teacher. I think my favorite teacher was my art teacher in high school. I just can't remember what his name was, but that was one of my favorite teachers because, like, he I just. I your favorite. Sorry. And you don't remember his name. Because I've been smoking this since I was in school. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Alright, I'm just gonna tell you the truth. Like, I can't remember what his name was because we was talking about him the other day, but he was the art teacher. And then I fought with Mr. Roach too. He was the electric teacher. Um, the electronics teacher. Mr. Roach. You remember him? Uh-uh. You don't remember him in electronics? No, nah, I don't think I took you electronics. Man, I swear it was on the choir, like Cause when the choir hall down, like you walk down the little um the little slope or whatever and you bust yeah, it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. When you walk down that slope and bust it right, that classroom that was right there, that first right door, cause you know the arts class was right here. Yeah. And the cooking class was to this side. Yeah, yeah. That first door to the right, that was the electronics teacher. Yeah. That was Mr. Roach. Um I think I remember the classroom, but Yeah. Yeah, you probably didn't never take electronics, so yeah, you really wouldn't know. Mr. Thompson, that was one of my favorite teachers too. I ain't gonna lie. Shout out Mr. Thompson. I fuck with him heavy. Uh, so I lied, y'all. I did. I had four black teachers. How many black teachers y'all have in school? I think just two. Uh, Only one cap PE teacher, then that's three. Well, that's five then, cause Mr. Wilson. Shout out Mr. Wilson. R.I.P. R.I.P. Miss Bias, Township Number Three. But all of them was elementary school. I don't think I had any black teachers in middle school or high school or college. Man, yeah. elementary school was Miss Thompson, Miss Montgomery. Miss Thompson, my kindergarten teacher. Miss Montgomery was my first grade teacher. Then Mr. Bryce. I think it was eighth grade. Mr. Wilson, that's P. And then when I got to high school, Mr. Thompson. Word. What about you, though? Uh, you have any black teachers? Black teachers? I think I had two. I think I had one, Miss Washington. That was a middle school. Mm-hmm. Oh, matter of fact, I think I had two. What Miss Washington, the one Miss, with the um, long fingernails? I, I can't remember her name. 
What I wonder what she look like now, Miss. Um, I, I think that might have been my art class. She like, eighty though. Miss, uh, she eighty. Nah, she ain't no eighty. Nah, nah. Miss, uh, black woman. I can't remember her name, man. Miss. In middle school, high yeah. school. Middle school. Black lady. Art teacher. Lance, I think it was Langston Hughes. That's his mama. So Miss Hughes. No, I don't think that was her name though. Uh -huh. Might have been though, but. Yeah, mm -hmm. shout out Langston's mama. And for a black teacher, I think that's it. Uh, I think, I ain't really sure. My memory don't be set up to uh, remember that far back, really. I feel that. And my favorite teachers <laughs> was, had to be Miss Gauss, my course teacher. Yeah. I want to shout out another of my favorite teachers. Go ahead, shout them out. Amber Earl. I don't know what class she taught, but I used to talk about smoking weed and everything in there. And one day she did like a poem. I don't know if it was Christmas or whatever, but she did a poem with each student, each student and what they, you know, taught the class or whatever. And I remember it said that I taught the class about trees. <laughs> you said this is in what grade? This is high school. Was you smoking weed in high school? You were smoking weed in high school. See, I would ask you that question, well, though. You, you know what I'm saying? Dang. Hey. So when did y'all start smoking weed? You a bad influence. I started smoking weed in 10th grade. <clears throat> I started smoking my senior Christmas break. I'll never forget it. You ain't started in kindergarten? Nah, like, the way I smoke now, though, probably going in the ninth grade. Mm -hmm. You yeah. smoking for me? <clears throat> yeah, I started. Thanks late. to my elders. I started smoking with older people, too. Well, not older people, but they was like 12th grade. Hell, this motherfucker's was my age. I was in ninth grade. I was hanging with seniors, so my tenth grade year, I was still hanging with them. They had graduated, and I just finally started smoking. But like my ninth grade year, I never smoked. They used oh, to yeah. just smoke. I never would smoke. Yeah. I don't even know why I started smoking. Cause I used to always be like, "Hell, I ain't hitting that shit. Mm -hmm. Fuck that." I ain't used hitting. To be in the car, they'd be hot box, and I'm like, "I ain't smoking, niggas." I wouldn't even get in that motherfucker. I'm standing outside away from y'all motherfuckers. I don't want to smell like this shit. And then just one day I started smoking. It's been no way. No I ain't stopped since. Man, I can have that smile on my face ever <laughs> since, hell. Do y'all remember the first time y'all smoked? The, uh, how geeked y'all really was? Like how I goofy you was I don't remember the acting? first time I smoked. I just know how old I was or what grade I was in. I don't remember the first blunt I ever hit. Man, I remember that shit because it was just like Me too. too many random around. events happened at one time. Like... I just popped up at this nigga house, these motherfuckers smoking. It's probably about that much of the blunt left, you feel me? These niggas want me to face it now. I ain't never smoked before. This shit got me high as fuck. This nigga gonna cook burgers. I'm already hungry for some reason. It's just like, this is perfect. Then we go to his homeboy house and I get lost going back home. <laughs> <laughs> you got lost going home? Yeah, because I was high, not thinking like, bro, that was my first time smoking <laughs> weed. Like, you I'm, right? Like, I swear to God, like, they got lost going on. I kind of knew where I was, like, coming from his house, bro. I didn't know how to really get home. Oh, oh, like, oh. I had been around that way, but I just went used to these roads, and we had took too many turns. Like, the main roads, you know, you stay on the main road, you go off that motherfucker one turn, you bust another turn, you good. But we yeah. bust another turn and another turn yeah. and another turn and I got lost. Man. No GPS days. Oh yeah. You, you know, that was map quest days. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You wanna get somewhere you print these motherfuckers out. That is true. And he was like, Man, it's down the road from my house. Man. Which it was down the road from his house, but That's shit, crazy. I couldn't even make it back to his house to get back to my house. You know, you need that starting point. Mm -hmm. But I figured it out though. 
But yeah, that's why I can always remember the first time I got high because it was just that weird ass thing. And I'm like, I don't think I had to do is come down and I would have busted the left instead of the right. I would have yeah. been on the right way. Yeah, damn map quest days. <laughs> yeah, used to get us there. Yeah, yeah. No, people used to be able to give you better directions back then than now. Because mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck. You could come from here, and your ass could be going to Greensboro, and motherfuckers would tell you how to get there, such and such, 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 take, such, 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 and when you get in there, you have to go to this road, that road, that road, and that road, and get there. Now motherfuckers wouldn't be able to tell you that, because you done got lost. Mm -hmm. Shit, just put it in your GPS head. I remember whenever uh, me and my daughter went to the beach yeah. many, many years ago. I had an Android phone. I don't think I had GPS on that. Well, I did have GPS on it. I dropped my phone and broke it. Mm. And I had to print off directions to get back home <laughs> and follow it mile for mile. But y'all didn't mm -hmm. never had a little navigation shit you could buy? Yeah, but you yeah, know them shits. That, you know you had to update maps on them shits. Though. But I didn't have that in my car. It was just me and my daughter. We just went to the beach. I was using my oh. phone. And oh, when we yeah. was at, at the beach, I dropped my phone, and that motherfucker stopped working. Damn. I got one. And we had an iPad, and, you know, of course, you didn't have no Wi-Fi in the car, yeah. so we just had to go to the lobby no. and print off. Matter of fact, though, you remember when we went to goddamn gone, was it Greensboro or somewhere, and we had that little navigation thing? Yeah. And I asked us going down the road, and they saying we in a body of water. Yeah. Well, you don't trust that shit. Yeah, you saw how long ago that was, though? Shit. That's... Uh, yeah, it was one of them damn Tom Tom things. Hey, yeah, I know I had bought bro. that shit from Walmart. I oh, said, I fuck this papers, nigga. I need something to talk to me. Uh, bro, yeah. that one I had, man, we <laughs> going down the road. Now, we on the highway, and, like, I don't think, it don't look like they're going to build no new shit. This motherfucker just straight in the water. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't know where the hell we supposed to turn at. Yeah, but then you got to download the shit on your computer, hook it up and shit. Man, I wasn't doing all that. Fuck that. I'm glad you got phones now. Because mm -hmm. that one CD player I had in my car, you had to keep buying CDs to put the down downloaded maps into it and stuff. Yeah, we had a struggle back then. Yeah. People got it good now. That we yeah, you can just look on your there. phone. That's the best thing they could have ever done. Yeah, because now the only thing you do is just plug your phone into the CD anyway. player and it pop up. Yeah, yeah. See, man, I be trying to stay up uh landmarks when I go places. I'll be trying to use them too, but then sometimes they move that shit. Uh, you know, like getting around Tennessee, the little spot I was at, though. I, I, I think I can get you back up that mind, buddy. Well, it shouldn't be that many times. To Asheville, right? No, I mean, Tennessee. Uh, Tennessee. The mountains, she. But you go to Asheville Way well, yeah. to get there. But, like, but the mountains, though, it is like. Yeah, but I hey, just follow the traffic. <laughs> nah, like for real. <laughs> they gonna take you to the main roads every time. Big trust, if you see five, six of them, follow them. They gonna get you there. To the main roads. My uncle always taught me that. Follow the trucks if you wanna get to the main roads. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, because they traveling. Not one states. or two, though, now. We got to see about three, four, five, six, seven months go by this road. And yeah. But you got to be near some kind uh, of something that's near a highway. Word. And we are south. We are family. Well, <laughs> down and up, we north, but. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> what y'all got planned this then, week? Huh? What y'all got planned for this week? I'm gonna change a couple spot plugs, change a couple change some people's oil. That's what I got planned for the rest of the week. Cut a little bit of grass. You know, it's the first of the month. Yeah. Niggas gotta sit down, it's the first of the month. Mm -mm. I ain't got too much of nothing planned. Chilling. Oh, yeah, for me, same thing I do most of the time, man. Trying to grow, trying to learn something, trying to make some money mm -hmm. in that order. 
Every I single figured, day? I figured deal it. What y'all first car was? I had a white photo Honda Accord. I think it was a 1997. I had a 1987 Toyota Celica. Pop-up lights in the front, you feel what I'm saying? Looks a uh, sunroof at the top, you feel me? Little button, you feel me? Call that bitch the silver bullet. Shit. I loved my little car. I think we paid fourteen hundred for it. Oh yeah. Shit, mine was a. I can't remember the year though. I think it was like a seventy nine or something. Seventy Citation, a little Pinto looking car. The blue car. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I remember the blue car. The bucket was beating. Mm-hmm. But before I got my own car, I used to drive yeah. a van. A blue van. My bonus parents' van. I can't remember what kind of van that was, but... <laughs> <laughs> honey, I used to drive that, that van to school. <laughs> it was an Astro van. It wasn't an Astro van. Look, look, it was like a... Uh, dang, what kind of van was that? Shit, I had that bitch... Billy Blunt papers, you know, the five pack had that one time I damn wreck, ran into a ditch re- trying to reach down and get my fucking soccer roll up on the way. Big Phillies, mm-hmm. man. Um, yeah, I used to drive that big van. Man. Man. Yeah, I couldn't pitch you in a van. So was it a 16 passenger, Jane? No, it wasn't a 16 oh, It was a caravan. It, it was, was a little a old caravan, minivan. It had a sliding door. Yeah, I cannot think. I want to say, not Chrysler. They ain't make. Did they make vans? Was well, you had the mm-hmm. seats in the back too? The seats in the back too. Yeah. Well, the individual the seats. No, they had rows. Uh, the oh, I'm about to say, well, would well, you had your grandpa van, bro? <laughs> they got them on Astro. <laughs> yeah, bro. the Astro. Dang, what kind of van? I want to say it was made by Chrysler. Yeah, got them cars in that motherfucker, bro. <laughs> The old TV in the top. I'm going to Google it. But, yeah, I drove it. I drove it to high school. Um, My senior year, actually. Shit, yeah, they said I could drive that motherfucker. Yes, I will. Was everywhere in that damn van. Think Who need I, a ride? Think I want with this motherfucker. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> All I got to do is put some gas in it. Let's go. Yep. Let's get it. Shoot. Man, yeah, that's crazy. Driving a van. Yeah, little Pinto, though. I drove the shit out that motherfucker, too. How you supposed to do it? Because I drove mine until the motor belt locked up. That motherfucker ride had got stuck something in that bitch. It made an awful noise one day. <laughs> and I was like, shit, I still got to go. Man, I drove that motherfucker about two days for that motherfucker. Did. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Turn that music up. You Turn gonna... the music up. <laughs> what? <laughs> Look, I went to Sarah's new house. The car was day. doing that? Yeah. yeah. You got tuned out the Bruh, fucking damn. I was going to Sarah's house one day. He was like, man, we heard a song going. Heard it. Damn, what the fuck? And then, doo, doo, doo. Yeah, you. Bruh. <laughs> Look, I knew. Once I tell daddy this car fucked up, I ain't going nowhere for no more. <laughs> Look, you have to come pick me up on the side of the road. Because, <laughs> shit, once this motherfucker don't crank no more, that's when we ain't going to go. Because, bro, I put oil in it, but it had an oil leak, man, and that motherfucker got too bad, bro. <laughs> Gonna like, your motor. Man, daddy knew that shit. You feel what I'm saying? You got mad <laughs> you at me. You the one was supposed to keep the, mo- the oil. Hell, I did keep oil in <laughs> a it. A quarter day. A quarter and a half a day. <laughs> shit, hey, I, think, I think that day I should have put two quarts in that motherfucker because I put the quarter in there. You, I checked the stick. <laughs> motherfucker was right, but like I said, boy, going down the road, that motherfucker started. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Fuck, bro. <laughs> hey, shit, we got to go. As long as that motherfucker get you there, hey, it didn't stop moving. We were about to rest later. I'm telling you, riding at the fan belt running. What damn tune she say? Man, it was something that bitch stuck because that motherfucker was squealing, boy. That's funny. But I missed that little motherfucker though. Fuck it, shit. You got to get to where you're going. Yeah, and I got to where I was going in that little motherfucker, boy. No okay. cap. Did y'all think y'all can live in one of them tiny homes? I think I could. 
Well, they call them tiny homes, but. Mine gonna be a little extra. It's gonna be a little bit bigger than the regular tiny home, I would think. I don't think I could live in a tiny home, but I think I could live in a container home. I mean, that's considered a tiny home, kind of. Nah, you can mm. make them as big as you want to. Yeah, because you can put them Same thing with a level. tiny home, though, right? No. So I'm thinking, when you say tiny home, I'm thinking about the ones they put, like, in the back of people's houses. Yeah. Because yeah, well, like I'm a, saying my uh, tiny like Yeah, mm. like a shed type thing. Yeah, because if but I was to build home. a tiny home, I would make mine a little bit bigger than this. And most motherfuckers probably consider this and. Not a tiny home. This ain't a tiny home, nigga. This an apartment in the city. That's what I'm saying. Like this, this would be considered uh, my tiny home. Do yeah. this and put me enough to put a loft in the top to where I can, you know, put a bed, my own little shit. You know, this, this is my room up here, a little loft on the top. But you know, they got the one that's like 24 by 24. Yeah, I live in that. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah, I live in that, man. Because I don't need a lot of room on the inside. It's on the outside where I need a lot of room, man. It's this dude on uh, fucking YouTube and shit. They stay in Forest City, man. I bet we might have to get him out here. I bet this dude got him a tiny home, though. That motherfucker decked down in there, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can do some got shit. Got no landlord. <clears throat> yeah, you just got to Ain't got no rent to pay. <laughs> shit, sound good to me. What you think? And guess what? Get you some solar panels. When you want to move, get you a truck, hook that son of a bitch up, mm -mm. and roll on down the road. Word what you think, Coda? Yeah, make it big enough the way you can put it on the back of that bitch. We gone. I don't want to live here no more. Tell me. Yeah, as long as you get you some solar panels and have you a little bit of power, you straight. Tell me. Man, I seen something where this man had put some solar panels on his house. I can't remember if he had got out of his truck or what, but he had walked from, it looked like out of the house or out of the garage part of the house. He closed something, all that shit fell down. That's why I'm scared the dang on mm. get solar panels on the roof. Cause I don't think his, his roof went strong enough. Cause it, once he closed that door, his shit fell in and I'm scared some shit like that happen. Damn. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Damn. He ain't put something together then. Yeah, you know, that's a lot of weight than solar panels. Well, I can't say how much weight it is, but I would I would think that's a little bit of weight that it wasn't necessarily built for to have on top of that. It didn't have bricks on top of that, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't think it was made for that. He should have thought about getting a little bit more wood put up there in the roof before he put the extra weight on there. Yeah. Yeah, I put a double roof up there, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no cap. I just think about you chilling somewhere and the roof fall in on your ass. Mm. That's crazy. I'm <laughs> suing the shit out your ass. I know that much. What are you going to do if I ain't got no insurance? Mm. <laughs> mm. So when... We're going to court. <laughs> I need you to pay my damn doctor bills. That's all I want. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. You think that you think that's a problem? Who? Somebody at your house the roof fall in nah, and you ain't got no insurance. You know, I want money. Shit. No, nah, I'm saying you at your house. <laughs> <laughs> My roof ain't gonna fall in. <laughs> I ain't saying it is. I'm saying hypothetically. Okay, well. We want to take this time to shout out Kibos. 2736. They Pope know. Road. They know. Kibos. Kibos. They know. Every week. They know. Every week keeping us fed. Kibos. And y'all too. Y'all need great hunts, of Pizza. They got you. Ice cream. They Thanks. got it all. Brand new socks and drawers. How you tried the chicken sandwich yet? No. God, so mighty. You know, I only come up here, you know, once a week. And no when chicken, I, no When nothing. I get there, they don't have chicken sandwiches. You're going to have to call it in one day. 
We got to get you one. We got to call it in. Yeah. Save me some of those Skittles. I can me some of like chicken bites. You trying to eat the whole bag? Oh, them chicken bites do be busting. Yeah, hey, I'm about man. to wrap this up so I can eat some of uh, Surge Skittles. You get some of them goddamn um, hot wings, boy. Shit, sir. If they mm-hmm. hot wings taste like any other gas station hot wings, I'm good. Do, 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 how, how you ever tasting anything out of there that tastes like a, a gas station, period? They don't taste like gas station pizza. Oh, no, the pizza don't. So why would they wings taste like gas station food? They double cook them. offended? Double cook them. I'm sorry. Fresh, too. I'm sorry, Kibos. These ain't the wings that just be sitting in there. Yeah, well, they, this yeah, shit ain't. Kibos don't do of. them. We they don't, don't have, do they, them now. That shit don't These even get freshly to sit. Made. They put it out there in five minutes. All this shit going, they got to restock it. They food don't sit and get hard and dried out. No. Tell them run it through twice. Make sure it's right. I'm telling you, that shit got to get 30 minutes. Trust still me, going. they going to know what you're saying. Tell them run it through twice. This motherfucker's going to be crispy, man. Don't be bullshit. They make sure your food right so you come back. No My complaint. bad. My no apologies. complaints. My apologies. Home style or spicy. What you need, they got you. <laughs> My apologies. Y'all know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess guys are going to wrap it up. We, uh, wrap, 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 wrap it up. Hey, Coda, what's your name on Instagram? Where can they follow you at? You can follow me at C-A-L-L underscore K-O-T-A, Kyle Coda. On IG and TikTok. Yeah, okay. Those who you next. You follow me at D O E S K O O L on all platforms. And last but not least, is me the biggest Betty Rock. Y'all know y'all can find me on that TikTok, the IG, the Facebook, social media at Betty Rock. Please follow us, Cut Your Talk Podcast on Instagram, on YouTube. Subscribe to our channel. I fucked up my freestyle. My bad. But guess what? It don't matter. We'll see y'all next week. Bye. Yeah, yeah. Catch talk.